Hello my dear students, take my heart. Welcome to another tutorial. I welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be hold on all of you. Today the topic is class 1 elementary mathematics page number 50. In this tutorial we will try to solve all the questions which is mentioned in page number 50. So let's get started and try to do the class. Dear students you can see it's the page number 50 which is mentioned in your textbook. Here you can see that almost five types of questions is mentioned here. Dear students, you know, as I earlier lectures, I was mentioned that whenever you will try to solve any types of questions, first of all, you should read the questions again and again so that you can collect data from that particular question. So because that, now we will try to solve question number two. But now I am trying to read question number two. The students, you can see that here you can see Lisa had eight toys. She gave her younger sister three toys. Then how many toys were left with her? The students, you know that in this question, we can see two types of data. First of all, Lisa had eight toys. After that, she gave three toys to her younger sister. So now the question to you that then how many toys were left with her? The students just try to realize that whenever you will try to give any types of toys from your total amount of toys, the number of toys will be decreased. And that's why in this question, you should apply the concept of subtraction. So how can you solve this question or how can we customize or summarize this question? So let's go to the board and try to solve this question. The students, it's the solution of question number two. In the first line, you should write that Lisa had eight toys. Then she gave three toys. So as earlier, I mentioned that because the number of toys will be decreased. So these will be the subtractional problem. So in the fi final line, you should write that then she had five toys. The students, can you guess that how can we write this five here? You know that 8 minus 3 is equal 5 and that's why you should write a 5 here. The students don't forget to write an answer whenever you will try to solve any types of question. So the answer of this question will be like that. That answer is equal 5 twice. The students, I hope you all were able to understand this question. Now we will try to solve question number 3. But before that, let's read the question which is mentioned in page number 50. Dear students, you can see that in question number 3, the author mentioned that six birds were sitting on a tree. Two birds flew away. How many birds were left on the tree? Dear students, as earlier I mentioned that, first of all, you should collect the data from this question. Dear students, you can see in this question, we also can see two types of data. First of all, six birds were sitting on a tree and then two birds flew away. So, when the birds were sitting on a tree, the number of them were six. But from there, two birds were flew away. So, the number of birds will be decreased also in here. So, in this question, you should also apply the concept of subtraction. So, how can we customize or summarize this question? Let's go to the board and try to see what will be the solution of question number 3. In the first line, you should write that there were 6 birds, flew away 2 birds. And these all data were mentioned in the question. So, in the final line, you should write that then there were 4 birds. Dear students, can you guess that why I write a 4 here? It's very easy. Whenever you will try to count this math that 6 minus 2 is equal 4, you can easily understand that. So the answer of this question will be like that. Answer is equal 4 birds. Dear students, it was a very simple math. So I hope you all will get the answer. Now we will try to solve question number 4. But before that, let's go to the page and try to see what will be the solution of it of question number four we can see in question number four the author written that 
there are eight students sitting in a classroom three of them are girls how many boys are in the classroom the students you can see also here you can see that two types of data are written first of all all together or the total amount of students were eight but among them three of them are girls so the question to you that how many boys are in the classroom you can see that it will be also the concept of subtraction that means whenever you will try to solve this question you should apply the concept of subtraction so how can we solve this question it's also very easy so let's go to the board and try to customize or summarize this question in the first line you should write that number of total students is equal 8 then number of girls is equal 3 the students you know that total amount of students are 8 so whenever you will try to subtract 3 from here that's why you should write a minus sign here so that the examiner can easily understand that what types of functions or what types of maths you are doing so in the next line or in the final line of this question you should write that number of boys is equal 5 the students you can count this in your finger and you can see that 8 minus 3 is equal 5 so that's the answer of question number 4 four so no don't forget to write an answer in your question so the answer of this question will be like that answer is equal five boys are in the classroom dear students i hope you all will understand the solution of question number four now we will try to see what will be the answer of question number five five but before that let's see the questions which is mentioned in question number five here you can see that the problem is fill in the blank boxes you can see here we can see a blank boxes here also we can see a blank boxes here also you can see a blank boxes and this is also a blank box so you should fill these blank boxes by the concept of addition and subtraction in question number one you can see that five minus what is equal to so this blank box should be filled with 5 minus 2 and that's why you can see that in your right hand side the author give you a clue to solve this question here you can see that five piece are given here and three of them are underlined so what is the message from this clue you can see that 5 minus 2 is equal 3 so this box should be filled with 3 dear students now we will try to solve question number five so let's go to the board in question number one the problem is five minus what is equal to this box should be filled with this that five minus two is equal three so the answer of this blank box will be three so the answer would be like that is equal three now if we see question number two we can see that seven minus what is equal three dear students it will be like that 7 minus 3 is equal 4 so the blank box should be filled with 4 so it will be like that 7 minus 4 is equal 3 and 7 minus 3 is equal 4 these all are the same questions now if we see question number 3 we can see that what minus 4 is equal to now the question to you that if we subtract 4 from any types of number the answer will be 2 so the question to you that find the number of this so how can we solve this question if we add 4 with 2 the answer will be 6 that means 4 plus 2 is equal 6 that's why this question will be filled like that that in this blank box you should write a 6 so the 6 minus 4 is equal to and it's the solution of question number three now if we see question number four we can see that the question is there has also a blank box and minus five so the question to you that what will be here you can see that five plus four is equal nine 
So that's why the answer of this question will be 9. So 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. The students, I hope you all were able to understand question number 5 and you all were able to solve all the questions which is mentioned in page number 50. I hope you all were easily understand that. But yet, if you have any types of questions, any types of doubts, any types of problems, you can write me on the comment box below this video without any hesitation. I will try to solve all the problems. I will try to answer all the questions and I will try to clear all the doubts which you have. In the next tutorial or in the next video, I will try to solve another types of problems of your textbooks. Thank you so much everyone for seeing this class.